Here I am part two about the amplifier I've been trying to test so far. I changed the inputs, the outputs with the standard SMA uh, and RP SMA connectors. We got three transistors here, one, two, three, fast switching diode, protecting the input for peaks. And what I found, look here about these transistors, these are beefy G540 made by Philips, low noise, very nice figure like uh, frequency up to 9 gigahertz and uh, and so on. And I hope these are originals because today you can find lots of parts but they are only and only fakes. And this one here in the front it's a diode, it's a fast switching diode protecting the input from peaks. Before anything else let me check the transistors and let me check the overall amplifier for short and uh, all this uh, uh, other power related uh, stuffs. So we have the ground and here we have the plus. It's here too. 13 mega ohms. This is perfect. No short at the input and so far. Okay, this 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 is the base here. The transistors are perfect, in perfect shape, base, collector, it's okay, okay, this one, 68 ohms, uh, 68 kilo ohms, sorry, 46 kilo ohms, okay, well, it's looking good, it's looking good, let me check the diode for short, so that's the input, no, we are very good here. So I may say that I can power on the amplifier and to run a test with the nano VNA. Well, I found out there was no water damage here. So everything you saw that yesterday, it was just a matter of, oh, this is a here oxidation, but it's it doesn't hurt the amplifier. So everything was a kind of vox. You know to keep it uh, to keep keep the moisture away from the amplifier and uh, yeah it's looking okay it's back in place of course it will be another output but now uh, for now it's enough only one okay i forgot something i need to make the connection to the input where is my soldering iron there you go so here have a little bit of soldering, a point, just a bit. Come on up. Yes, we are very good there. Yes, old school amplifier, three stages. All I can say that sometimes the old stuffs are much better because this is a commercial amplifier. So we should have a kind of quality control. It's not, uh, it's not from some obscure internet provider i uh, not internet provider you know sales pages okay plus to the ground okay we got the power there the transformer it's good in place yeah we are good to go and let's power it on let me check the voltage 12.26 volts okay so it's running at 12 volts okay well guys now all i have to do is to connect this with the nano vna and doing some tests okay so uh, first let me have an attenuator uh, to nano vna because the amplifiers should have like a 25 dB, 24 dB or something. So I don't want to burn my nano VNA. It's the second one anyway. So I burned one before. Now we should have an adapter there using fake pins. It simplifies everything. So this is the output. Going to channel 11. There I go, but you know something? First, let me see. Let's take a look at the 
Uh, let's take a look at the attenuator and what we got there without an amplifier. So, nano VNA, there we go. Okay, let me calibrate 500 to 1200 for the beginning. Okay, pay attention to screen number 21, S21 gain and sweep. All right, so we have a very clear attenuation of 16 dB. This one here. That's the attenuator in this in this uh, range of frequency. Okay, sorry, 500 mega to 1,200 mega. Now we go. Yes, minimum gain of eight, maximum gain of minus 15. So that's the attenuation from 500 mega to 1,200. I think that should be enough. Now, let's connect the amplifier. We need a cable like this to the input. Hmm? Let's go. And sweep. Whoa, 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 look here, we have a maximum gain of 8.98 at a frequency of 731, what about uh, 868? The red one here, we have like plus 6 dB. Okay, here is the gain, 8.8 .8 dB. Guys, it's more than perfect. But you can see it's going down. So we have a top of 10 dB almost at 600, 700 or something. Okay, doesn't matter. Anyway, I have 8 dB at uh, 868. Now, okay. Uh, how can I do this? Oh yes, of course I can. This is a filter for 868, obviously. And let's see how it's behaving through the filter and sweep. Wow. <laughs> Look there. So we have a very nice peak at uh, 864 with 5.3 dB. This is more than enough. This is so perfect. Okay, now let's go a little bit closer like frequency 800 megahertz to 900 megahertz. And there we go. It's perfect here. Maximum gain 5.5. But don't forget that we have an. We have. A, I think it was 80 dB or something. Okay, let me try again. Let's see this particular attenuation for this range here. Yeah, we have a minus 14, okay, where are you? 868, uh, 868, marker one. We have a minus 14 dB, let's remember that. Minus 14 dB, okay. Now the amplifier goes on and sweep and there we are 869 megahertz we have a gain of 
5.72 and that makes if we add 14 here we have around 19 db gain because here is minus okay let's let's say the blue one the blue one it's at minus uh, minus 14 let me see where i can find mine okay here is minus 17 minus 11 around here we have minus 14 and here is the top so we have like almost 19 db of gain this is wonderful and it's a perfect shape for 868 well that is something else here i don't know if it's all right or not but it will be the noise factor the noise floor but you no know, something i don't care about this as long as i have this amplification here and i can use double filter double filter why not let's use it let's introduce another filter let's see what's happening so we should be like plus 3 db because these are like 2 db attenuation exactly max and gain 3.5 this is perfect great 3.5 db plus plus 14 of course this is 17 db amplification with double filtering okay people it's looking promising and uh, it feels like uh, it's looking like it's working you know and uh, what's nice about that it can be used for two miners because it have a splitter at the output i'm gonna have this on the roof as soon as the tests with uh, a bare antenna connected to the miner so far it's a disaster but next week i'm gonna have the antenna plus a filter in front of the miner and maybe in two weeks from now on i'm gonna test this amplifier it's looking very promising okay i hope it's useful see you soon with some other projects if you have any comments write them down but in the meantime don't forget like push the button subscribe and uh, what can i say don't forget to have fun bye bye